Stop wibbling. Wibbling? Wibbling? What? Okay. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be doing an unboxing and first impression with the new Trixie Cosmetics Plant Gate Collection. And if you're new here, my name is Colin and I'm a non-binary Latinx scientist and lover of makeup, especially colorful makeup and indie makeup, and I'd love to have you subscribe. I'm fairly new here on YouTube, but I have new content every week. So I'm really excited to open this up and try this out. Uh, this just got delivered. I was planning on doing a workout and I got the notification and decided I had to film right away. So I quickly did my brows and I did my standard base with my Fenty products and I'll have all the dis details in the description box below. So I ordered the PR box which retails for $105 and is sold out. It sold out pretty quickly than generally do. Uh, but you can buy all of the individual pieces still. I don't think anything is sold out yet um, and I don't think it's a limited edition so I think there'll be restocks. Um, but this is the PR box that it came in. It's this nice cardboard with this really beautiful holographic Trixie plant logo all over it. And then it has information about the box, how it's 80% post-consumer waste and 100% renewable energy that made this and all of that. So that's really great. Um, and then you open it up and you've got a little card up here the palette and three glosses. So this is the main collection and this, by getting the PR box, I got all of it plus this card, which they said summer holographic and I did not get a holographic one, sadly, but it's got a picture of Trixie from the promo shoot, which I love. I love all that green on her. I love the green and pink combo for everything for this. I'm gonna slide that back right there. It says time for a floral cultural reset up here. Um, and then it's got the three lip glosses down here and the palette. So I haven't opened anything yet. I'm going to do swatches of the palette. I'll do swatches of the glosses as well, might as well. And then I'll probably wear one of them throughout the video. So let's pull these up. So we've got three lip glosses. I'll do those first. So we've got Vegan Agenda, Royal Jelly, and Floral Fixation. So these two are the sheer sparkly lip gloss formula that I love from Trixie. And this is her full coverage lip gloss formula, which I do like, and I might wear today just so everyone can see it. So let me pull these out. And then this is the box that each lip gloss comes in. It's the standard Trixie box, just with the colors changed for the collection. And then it's got the normal little heart pattern on the inside, which is super cute. So this is the shade Vegan Agenda, which is this really pretty kind of sheer with blue-green uh, shimmer in it. And then Royal Jelly is this golden yellow color. And then Floral Fixation is this pinky red. So I'll swatch these on the back of my hand. And they come in the normal Trixie heart shape compact or heart shape component. normal Trixie Doe foot. So here is Vegan Agenda. So yeah, it's it's basically clear, but it's got that blue green sparkle. Um, I really, I'm excited to use this. This is the one item my best friend ordered as well. Um, she wanted the palette, but she can always use mine. So, and she lives two floors down. Um, and then Royal Jelly is this really pretty yellowy gold shade. So I'll do that right here. So you can see this is also pretty sheer. And then it's got lots of that yellow gold shimmer running through it. So I'm looking forward to seeing what that looks like on the lips. And then floral fixation is that pink. And this is her full coverage lip gloss formula. So it's basically like a liquid lipstick, but shiny. <laughs> Um, but it does transfer because it's a lip gloss. So that's my only hesitation with wearing those some days is because I don't want it to get everywhere. I don't want it on my mask or I don't want it on my water bottle or whatever. Um, but that's a really beautiful color. And then here is the Plant Gay palette. So it comes in this really cute 
packaging that matches the box. It's got the ingredients on the back. And then the palette itself, it's the same size as her last palette. And it's just so cute. I love, I love all the little eyes all over it. I love the florals. I love the color pattern, the, all the bright pops. I think this is super cute. And then it says plant gay on the back as well. And then I'll throw that away. And then it's got a nice mirror here. And then here is the palette itself. So it's got these pinks up here with this like really light yellow, a couple neutral tones right here. And then down here, it's all greens and like teal colors. And I, I'm really excited to use this. I love these colors. Um, and I do know that Trixie said that all of the glitters in the shimmers are biodegradable, which is nice. So the lip glosses retail for $16 a piece normally, and the palette retails for 48, but you do get, it's a pretty big palette and these are really big pans. Um, and if it's anything like her other palette, the formula is great, so it's totally worth it. Um, so I'm gonna do swatches first before I do any kind of look, and I'm just gonna go across and across I'm gonna do them down my arm. I don't have any primer or anything on my arm. And you'll notice as I go through the swatches that almost all of these have puns as names. So the first one here is this really pretty pink shimmer called OU Do, like D-E-W. And it's soft, a little, you can see there's a little bit of kick up in the pan. And that's just a nice soft pink with like a pink and yellow sparkle running through it. Uh, the second shade is Best Buds, which is this really vibrant pink. It's really soft. Oh, that's really nice. Kind of a bubblegum pink, which isn't very common, but very tricksy. The next shade is Queen Bee, which is the uh, pale yellow. And that looks, yeah, that kind of blends into my skin a bit, but I have a medium olive complexion, so I'm not surprised by that. Um, so that'll be a nice transition or like buffing the edges kind of shade, um, or maybe an inner corner. And then the next shade is this really bright fuchsia called OK Bloomer, like OK Boomer, but Bloomer. Um, and that's, that's very, very vibrant. It feels a little drier than Best Buds, but so far, even her dry shadows are still really, even her drier shadows still feel really soft. Yeah, that's definitely a little more fuchsia, a little more purple to it than um, Best Buds. And then the last two shades in the top row, I forgot a towel. And then the last two shades in the top row are more neutral. So there's a light neutral brown uh, called Cottage Core, and then one of my favorite names in a palette ever, Thorny on Main. So this is, ooh, this is very soft. And then, yeah, these are both very soft and very pigmented. So they're both on the cool toned side, which makes sense. So there's Cottage Core. It's a little bit darker than my skin. And then here is Thorny on Main, which is just a nice kind of charcoaly brown. And then in the second row, we have I Missed You, which is another one of these glittery shades. It's not a pressed glitter, it's just a very glitter heavy metallic. Um, that's really beautiful. It's kind of gray taupe, gray green. It's like a gray green. I don't know why I said the word top. And then we have Greenhouse, but spelled H-A-U-S. That's really soft and wow, that's, that's really pretty. Oh yeah, that's really nice. This kind of looks like the light green shade in the new ColourPop Tinkerbell palette, which I haven't bought, I wanted to, but I already bought this and they're both kind of that pink green combo. So I figured I would just stick with this for now. Um, the next one is by Coastal, which is just a standard shimmer. It's less glittery, um, but that's a nice sea foam. 
that's really beautiful, really soft. And we have soaked, which is this really pretty blue, kind of an aqua blue, which makes sense for the name and for the plants, it's just the shade of water. Yeah, that's really nice. And I'm glad I only have two left because I'm running out of arm space. So the next shade is Toadly, which uh, she said in the reveal, the reveal, which she said in the reveal video, that was hard to say, uh, that some people thought it was Toad Ally, but it's Toadly. Um, and then we have Botanista. Um, oh, that's really soft. This is a really pretty green shimmer and then like a really dark teal. So there's Botanista and there's Totally, which I think is probably gonna be my favorite and most used shade in this. Yeah, that's, that's really beautiful. Okay, I can't wait to use those. I have a feeling a go-to look for me is gonna be this, this corner. <clears throat> so there's the whole palette swatched out and you can see that yellow really does blend into my skin tone pretty well. Um, but I'm really excited to use this, and I think it's a really unique combination of these greens, greens, and pinks. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and try these. I think I'm going to do something green on the lid, and then maybe pink underneath. Not 100% sure. <clears throat> so I've already primed my eyes with my Urban Decay Eye Primer, and I'm going to grab, not that, and I'm gonna grab my Sigma E38, which is my go-to first brush. And I'm gonna go into Greenhouse because I just have to try out these greens. So there's a decent amount of kick up in the pan, but it's not too bad. And then I didn't bring a mirror, so I'm gonna use the mirror in the palette and peel that off. And I'm just gonna, put this all over my crease. Okay, so that's really pretty and very much true to palette color. I much prefer a palette that shows up on the eye like it looks in the pan. I find it annoying when you go to put it on, you're like, oh, that's not what I thought it was gonna look like. And just like the shades in the other palette, the Bottle Blonde that I have, this goes on very pigmented right away and basically blends itself. Like the edges already look nice and I've done literally nothing. So I'm just gonna windshield wiper that around a little bit and repeat that on the other eye. And then I'm going to take a Sigma E33, which is this nice little brush, and I'm going to go into Soaked, that blue shade. Tab off the excess, and I'm going to run that through my crease. And just kind of blend the green and the blue together. Uh, and that's already looking really nice. So yeah, this is only a first impression but so far it seems to be the same exact formula as the purple and nude palette, the Bottle Blonde, and it's a really nice formula. Especially for dark hearts, especially for shades that tend to be kind of hard to formulate, like purples and the other one and blues, they, uh, they're not patchy and they blend really nicely. And I have no fallout, which is nice. Since I already have my base done. And then I'm gonna take a Sigma E42, which is another even smaller brush. And I'm gonna go into that dark teal Botanista and put that on the outer corner. I'm just gonna pack that right here and blend it lightly into the outer part of the crease. And even with that dark shade, there's no fallout so far. So I'm gonna repeat both of those on the other side real quick. So that looks really great. I'm really happy with the way this blended so far. So next I'm gonna go back into that tiny brush and go into Thorny on Main and deepen the outer corner on both sides, which Trixie was saying in her reveal video she wanted 
to name a shade, horny on Maine. Um, and her staff made fun of her and didn't want her to do that. So she made it into a pun for this palette and made it thorny on me. And I, I just love that. I think it's, it, it's just the best kind of pun. So that's adding a nice amount of depth. So Trixie also said in the reveal video that this collection was inspired by the start of the pandemic where everybody was buying plants all the time and posting pictures of all of their plants, which I definitely did a little bit, not as much as my cohort mate. So for my PhD, there was two people, me and one other person that started that year. And she definitely went crazy on the plants. Um, <laughs> but we bought a few, but we already had a decent number of plants. We had a lot when we lived in New York and we gave them to friends when we moved here because I didn't want to try driving across the country with them and stuff. Um, so we've been slowly trying to build it back up to what we had, slash better than what we had. So that looks really great. It's nice and deep, um, very green. I like the way the blue greens kind of mix together. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and add some shimmers next. So I think I have to use I Missed You and then maybe by Coastal because it's a little bit lighter and do a gradient between the two. So I'm gonna put down some NYX glitter glue first, um, which is my go-to for most shimmers. So I have two identical Morphe 124 brushes, and I generally use those for putting on glitter glue and then the shadow. I don't like to use the same brush for both. So I have this one that's my glitter glue brush, and then I have one that's more for shimmers. So I'm just gonna pack that all over my lid and then kind of brush it up here in the shape I want. So it kind of does a cut crease, but it's not as precise or as time consuming as an actual cut crease. So I just push that up into my actual crease, like the actual like socket area, because I put my mats a little bit above that so you can see them when my eyes are open. And so I put the shimmers into the actual fold there. But especially with how glittery I Missed You feels, I, I think the glitter glue will help a lot. Um, and then I'm gonna grab my other Morphe 124. And let's start with I Missed You. I'm gonna try picking that up. And it picked up pretty well on a brush. Um, it's nice and it's a little more loosely packed than some other shimmers may be. And let's put that on the middle and outer part of the lid. Okay, yeah, that's definitely got a bit of a gray to it, like very cool toned, which I like. Okay, yeah, that's really pretty. I don't think I have another shimmer that's the same color as this, so I'm very happy to add this to my collection. I think I, Oh You Do and I Missed You are kind of similar to they're the same formula as Mauve Mentality from the last palette. And then by Coastal and Totally are the just regular shimmer that she had a couple of in the last palette, but these feel even nicer. So I'm, I'm excited to use these. I think tomorrow I'll do a look with these four and then I'll do a pink look soon. Um, and then I'm going to flip to the other side of the brush and pick up a little bit of by Coastal which picks up very nicely as well. And I'm gonna put that on the inner third of the lid and then up a little bit higher so there's a little bit of a diagonal to them and blend those two together. And that's definitely more just metallic. Actually, I might spray that, see how that does. So now that that's wet, let's see. Yeah, that's nice and shiny now. And it's definitely not as like glittery as this one. So I'm just gonna go back and forth with those and blend them together and then repeat on the other eye. Okay, so that looks really nice. I really like the way those two are melding together and a little bit of the sparkle from I Missed You is kind of creeping into Bicoastal, which works because then they blend even better together. 
and that looks really cool. Um, doesn't look as good on camera as it does when I look in the mirror. Um, but the glitters, especially in I Missed You, are really, really sparkly and really pretty. So, totally is calling my name, like I said before. But I'm going to save that for tomorrow, and I think I'm going to try some pink on the lower lash and just see how that looks. I might look insane, but we'll see. So I'm going to start with Best Buds, and I'm going to put that on my Morphe 508, which is this little stubby packing brush. And I'm going to pack that right here for that little pop of pink. I'm just going to see how many shades I can use today. And I'll come back with an actual review later where I've tried everything and worn them for a whole day and all of that. Um, but I just had to try filming with this right away because it's, it's so pretty and I was so excited to get it. Okay, so that looks really pretty. I'm gonna go into OK Bloomer a little bit and put that out here. Oh yeah, that's really vibrant. Try not to stab myself in the eye. And then to have the two halves merge together a little bit better, I'm going to take Thorny on Main again on the same brush and pack that right here and connect the outer V of both top and bottom. I'm just going to deepen everything up out there. Okay, so I really like the way that looks. I'm just going to take a blending brush real quick and go back into Best Buds a little bit and Make sure this is softened a little down here. Okay, so that looks really great. I'm gonna go ahead and off camera add mascara and liner and such, and I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back and this is the finished look. So I finished off my eyes with my Urban Decay Mascara and House Labs Liquid Liner. And then in my waterline, I added Empire from House Labs, which is a sparkly emerald, but Emerald looks teal on me because of my olive undertone. It just turns more blue. So I thought it would work well with the shades I have on my lid. And then for my inner corner highlight, I put Solar Sailor on from Kaleidos, which is that really beautiful yellow iridescent highlighter. And then my lip is the Floral Fixation Gloss. So that way you could see how opaque this is. This is one layer like one and a half dips of the gloss and no lip liner, no any anything underneath it. So this is how opaque these are. So they're really beautiful and they're very comfortable, not sticky at all. Like there's no strings like the ColourPop glosses. Ugh, those are bad. All right, some of them I couldn't even open my mouth. It was just like sticky strings of goop. Um, but this is really comfortable. I like the way this feels. And I, I love the way they look. I just don't wear them as much because I will get this all over. <laughs> so first impressions for the Plant Gay palette and collection is that it's the same quality as everything else from Trixie Cosmetics. The glosses are the same formula. Um, you can see they're still on my hand. Um, they do feel sticky on the hand, but not on the lips. On the lips, they feel really comfortable. And then the palette I used, let's see, I used Best Buds, OK Bloomer, Thorny on Main, I Missed You, Greenhouse by Coastal Soaked, and Botanista. So the only shades I haven't used are Oh You Do, Queen Bee, Cottage Core, and Totally. So I've used most of the shades. I've used, so there's just one shimmer. There's two shimmers and two mattes left that I haven't used. Um, but they all worked great. They all blended really easily. I, I'm not gonna have to edit out a bunch of blending or anything like that. Like, it really is just swipe, swipe, swipe. Okay, it's blended. Add another one, swipe, swipe, swipe. Maybe go back in with the first brush briefly. Like, they're they're really easy to work with, but also still really pigmented. Um, and they build together. Like, you can see I have one, two, three, four. I have four shades on my outer corner here, and they blended beautifully together. So it's very buildable. Um, I know some 
eyeshadow formulas, once you add like two, that's it. They just separate or they turn to mud, but this made a nice gradient. So I'm really happy with the gradient and the way this looks. And these shimmers look really pretty. They they melted together nicely in the couple minutes it took me to do my eyeliner and stuff. And they, they look really beautiful. It looks like the shimmery water on my lid. And then I've got the green mattes, the pink down here and the yellow there. So I've incorporated like all of the colors from the palette. So uh, let me know what you think of the palette and if you've picked anything up from this or if you plan to, and let me know what you think of the look. I'm really happy with this. This is really beautiful and I am so happy to play with this more and so excited to play with this more. So I hope you all have a great rest of the day. Remember to like and subscribe and I will see you all in my next video. That was the best so far. Still not good. So close. <laughs> like 15 minutes of footage to delete. Wow, today is a struggle. Um.